most of the time when these people be talking, I don't even hear them. I don't. They talk and they talk, but I do not hear shit when I'm near them. I swear to God that I can't. Hello, everybody. My name is Elite, and I'm here to uh, bring guys a, a solution to getting corruption at 73% or other some other percent while you guys are doing my tutorial on how to jailbreak your PS3 on 4.82. So what I'm about to do is I'm going to go on the internet browser and I'm going to enter the wrong flash memory and, um, and see what happens. Because uh, if you enter the, normal, the, the wrong one, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming what's supposed to happen is it's supposed to break. So and I, I know um, that's, that's risky, but I have a way to uh, recover my PS3 if I Something bad goes up. Something bad happens. So it'll, if, if it happens to me, it'll be all right. I'll be able to recover. So what I'm going to do is my PS3 is actually a, a CECH 2001A, which is a NOR. All PS3 Slims are NORs, and some Fats are NANs. But if you have a PS3 Slim and it's jailbreakable, it's going to be NOR. All right. But what I'm going to do, is I'm going to enter NAN, which is for the fat PS3s, and mine is a Slim, so it should not work. I'm not sure if it's going to break or it's going to. Um, or it's actually gonna go through. Let's see what happens. So let's see. Let's see, because moment of truth. Okay. So what just happened is the PS3 um, actually worked after hitting uh, the wrong flash. So and it turns off by itself and everything. So I'm assuming when I turn this PS3 back on, it's gonna be bricked. Okay. So what I just I just restarted my PS3, and the thing, the weird thing is it's still booting up. It did not break. So, let's see what happens. That's that's, that's really surprising. I, I was assuming it's gonna the whole console was gonna get a yellow light of death and it's gonna be a turn on, but truth is, um, it still boots. So that's really strange. So all right. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to install the firmware, see if it if it uh, corrupts or whatnot. <clears throat> Okay, it's turning back on. Okay, see, it, it boosts up and everything. Nothing, nothing bad happened at all, which is pretty surprising. I flashed the wrong flash memory onto my PS3, so I have the, the firmware on my on my USB flash drive rebuilt right from the tutorial. And I'm gonna try and install it. Okay, accept, yes, accept. Don't turn off, and there we go. So let's see what happens. Let's see if it if it corrupts or it goes through. I was, I was, I was, I'm shocked. I was surprised that it did not break. I was thinking the PS3 was gonna just break all together, and I was gonna be able to turn it on. I was gonna have to fl uh, flash it again with the E3 flasher, but turns out um, it's still booting. So that's that's pretty, it's pretty uh, unique if you ask me. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so I'm at 50, 60 percent. See if it goes through. You guys always say you guys are freezing at 71, say over 73. Okay, still going through. Okay, here we go. You see that? Is this there? You guys are getting 8002 f 7 or 59 f 9 f 57 If it is, then I just found out why you guys are uh, not getting this. So, all right, guys, delete back, and here's I'm gonna show you guys how to check the model number of your PS3, so you guys can uh, flash the correct version to your PS3. So, this is my PS3, and what I'm gonna do. This is how you check the, I'm going to show you guys how to check the model number. So what you do is you turn around and look back here. You guys have this sticker right here. It says serial number. Okay, I don't I don't care what you guys do with this. So what this is, is um, this is, uh, this is, has a serial number. And this section right here is starting the CECH. So ignore all this. Starting here, this shows your model of your PS3. And this PS3 system is a CECH. 2001B. And if you guys look in the description, I will have a a guide that shows you what what chip you guys have. If you guys, according to this section right here, so whatever you guys have, uh, you guys can follow this, the serial number right here, and um, and the chart. And you guys will be able to know if you guys have a NOR or a NAN. All right, guys. So once you go, once you guys find out your model number, your PS3, you're gonna go back to the, the video, and you're gonna go to the description. Then you can open this link right here of the NOR NAND chart. You can open in, I always open a new tab. And if you guys get this prompt too, just go ahead and just go to the side because this just shows this just displays images, so there's no harm here. So and here's the pictures that you need. And according to this chart, you will know what you what uh, what link to click on the website if you go to the go to the mini web host 
or you go to the um, if you use MiniWeb or if you re read the trainer. So if you have a the only time you're gonna really need to check a chart is if you have a fat pastry. If you have fat pastry and the back says A through G and you have these A through G, then your piece is gonna be a NAND. So whenever you guys go to the links, you guys are gonna click the NAND, the the NAND side. If so, it's gonna be on the it's gonna say NAND or no, and just make sure you pick NAND. And if you have a H through Q on your piece, just check all these on your according to the back of your piece tree. If you have any of these, you're gonna have a NOR. So you're gonna click the NOR part of the portion of the website. And if you have a slim, if it's jailbreakable, any slims are always gonna be NOR. So it's gonna be a little easier for you guys. So those of you have uh, NOR, if you guys have a slim, you guys probably got this to work the first try. So and if you guys are still struggling like a lot of other people were, then you guys will know uh, what to click according to this chart. All right, guys. So now on to the next part. All right, guys. So we're back on the piece tree, and we're gonna do the correct method to to jailbreak your PC this time. Hopefully this will fix your errors. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna try both methods. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the, this, the, my server with MiniWeb. This is my first tutorial. And I'm gonna go to the correct one, which my PS3 is a NOR. And it turns out my PS3 is 2001B, not a 2001A, my bad. So I'm gonna go to the, the correct one, the NOR <clears throat> 482. So if you had the NAND, you will go to the NAND. Hold on, let's go back. If you had the NAND, you go to the NAND 482, all right, guys? We'll do this, and we'll also do read the server, or read the whatever you call it. Okay, so we're gonna just say yes, and I'm gonna write to NOR 5, so it's a yes. Success, and it's still moving, so it should turn out by itself. So remember, just well, look at the waves, and if the waves aren't moving after you get a success, that means your PC uh, froze. But if they're moving in the background, then yeah, it's gonna turn out by itself. been like what a minute now so it's done see there you go a minute later it turned out by itself okay so my PVR was not working so what I did I just, just turned out my PS3 and turned it back on so make it catch up because right now my PVR is as always um, behind okay so I flashed it correctly and um, if, if, if you guys do the same thing and it's correct you guys should uh, not get a, a corruption of that data because that has to do with your. That's the, that's what happens if you try to flash a uh, custom form onto your PS3 when it's not uh, flashed correctly with uh, skipping the security. Because that's like half the comments are saying that this is a problem, so I'm pretty sure this was a culprit. Okay, so now we're gonna actually go ahead and try it again with the, the PVR recording this time. Okay, so accept, don't turn off, okay. So let's see if it works this time. Alright guys, so the PC officially turned on and as you can see it says rebug firmware so we are good to go and this method works as well. So remember just make sure you guys click the right and model if you have a NOR or an N. As you can see I'm just having the HDMI device detected as always and I should unplug the HDMI but I'm too lazy. Okay, so let me just stupid control thing for it to turn on. There we go. <coughs> Okay, so check it out. 
And as you can see, just so you know that it worked. You have red icons instead of blue because you're um, officially on custom firmware. And do not update the OFW unless you want to do this again. Alright, so on to the next part.